Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim the seerah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam part 18 So from all the biographies of the people from the ancestry of Nabi Pak sallallahu alaihi that I've told you about Hashim and Adnan and Abd Manaf and Abdul Muttalib what we find out is that these people the forefathers grandfather great grandfather great great grandfather and so on the people in the ancestry of Nabi Pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam from his dad's side and his mum's side were good pious people nick people none of them worshiped idols everyone was worshiping statues but they did not worship idols and they did not drink they were the cream of the people they were the best of the people and that's why allah ta'ala says in the quran laqad ja'akum rasulun min anfusikum that i have sent to you a prophet from amongst you and Anas radiallahu says that this ayat can be, this word can be recited in another way. لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ أَنْفَسِكُمْ If you read it like that, it changes the meaning. So there's two ways of reciting this word, reciting this ayat. مِنْ أَنْفَسِكُمْ means, I have sent you a prophet from amongst you. And مِنْ أَنْفَسِكُمْ means, I have sent you a prophet from the best people amongst you. Meaning, Banu Hashim were the best people on the earth at that time the ancestry of nabi pak sallallahu nobody in history has had an ancestry a family tree like nabi pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam and that's why nabi pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in a hadith that i am a descendant of the best of people and then he said in one hadith that from adam alaihi salam right up to me right up to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the whole of my lineage, no single person ever fornicated. And if you think about that, from Adam al Islam to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, thousands of years, Nabi Pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam says nobody in my forefathers, granddad, great granddad, great great granddad, great 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 granddad, nobody from Adam al Islam right up to me, nobody in my family tree ever fornicated, ever did zina. Laisa min laisa. Nobody from Adab al Islam in my uh, ancestry ever fornicated. They all did nikah. They all married and they did it the halal way. Nobody fornicated. So Nabi Pak was chosen from the best of all people because he was to be the best person that ever lived. Nabi Pak. And why did Allah Ta'ala do all this? Because this was important to the Arabs. Right? In the Arabs, the first thing they would ask about a person is, what's his lineage like? Yeah. They would ask that first. So if a person came along and he didn't know who his dad was, then that was a real mark upon him. You know, people would then humiliate him. People would not consider him anything. But so lineage and ancestry for the Arabs was really, really, really important. And it still is. In some nations, lineage is still really, really important. In some, unfortunately, it's not important at all. People don't know who their dad is and it doesn't matter. But in certain cultures, even now, like it was in Arabia at that time, ancestry was really important because Allah Ta'ala knew that I'm going to send Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. People will instantly say, what was his dad like? What was his granddad like? What was his great granddad like? So Allah Ta'ala made Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam a prophet in the Quraysh, in Arabia, and before him, he sent his forefathers who were the best of people. And so when he came, when Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came, even before prophethood, everyone respected him because they knew that he's the son of Abdullah. And Abdullah was a good man. And he's a grandfather, he's a grandson of Abdul Muttalib. And Abdul Muttalib is the one who rediscovered the well of Zamzam for us. And he's a man who never fornicated. He's a man that never worshipped idols. He's a man that told us not to do tawaf of the Kaaba naked. He's the one that used to settle our disputes. He's the one who defended the Kaaba against Abraha. And because of his dua, Allah Ta'ala saved the Kaaba. And so on and so forth. And then they would say, oh, this is Abdul, uh, this is Muhammad. He is a great grandson of Hashim. And Hashim is the one who set up the trade routes for us. And Hashim was our leader. And Hashim was the leader of the Arabs. And Hashim was well respected. And he was very generous and so on and so forth. So all that really mattered to the Arabs. And that's why Allah Ta'ala selected Muhammad from Banu Hashim, who were the best of people at that time.